Hello, Scorpios. This is your reading for the 13th through the 21st. This is a general love reading for you guys. This reading is for my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. The sun. Feeling enlightened about something. Feeling like you figured some shit out. Feeling kind of happy right now. Leo energy there. What's challenging my Scorpios here? Seven of Swords. Hmm. I feel like some of you are feeling truly happy. Um, but with the Seven of Swords challenging you, it's telling you that make sure that whatever you are doing to not do it for selfish reasons or don't do something that you know is going to hurt someone else okay because we can be a little bit selfish of course we can because at you know at the end of the day we need to look out for ourselves first right but if you do some shit that you know is going to make you just feel good and it's like something that's superficial and you know that it's going to hurt somebody else, let's not do that, is what this is saying. Okay? Take somebody else's feelings or what somebody else thinks into consideration here with the Seven of Swords energy. Be mindful. That's Aquarius energy there with the Seven of Swords. And also, be mindful of somebody trying to do this shit to you. Keep your eyes open, basically. Okay? So it goes both ways. What is the underlying issue here for Scorpios? Underlying issue for Scorpios. Ace of Swords. Use your discernment. I think that um, this has been an issue. This has been an issue. Using your discernment to make the correct decisions. Okay. Know when your gut's telling you something. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Whether it's something that somebody else is doing or whether you're doing it. If it does not feel good, don't do it. It's a thing here, okay? <clears throat> What's going on in the recent past for Scorpios? Recent past for Scorpios. And then we have a Seven of Cups. Having options, I feel. And, and kind of being confused about what it is that you really want it. Maybe this has everything to do with the relationship for you guys. This is like having these feelings that are, you know, kind of bubbling up inside of you. These like um, very giddy feel feelings and really not knowing what to do with those feelings. How do you really feel about this situation? Being confused. Having your head in the clouds. Okay? You've had your head in the clouds before, guys. There's a situation that has presented itself for you to take into consideration your past experiences and how you've been moving. And I see that you've only had to really consider yourself here with these sevens. There's somebody else in this picture that you need to consider. Okay. It's what I'm getting. Scorpio energy. There. Crowning thoughts for my Scorpios. Page of Cups. Why is that way up there? Let me move this down some. I feel like you guys have a crush on somebody here. You've been flirting. Um, you've been talking to them. I feel like you are catching feelings. Somebody else is catching feelings as well. But this is like in the initial stages. And if this is somebody that you are still with. Then this is you. Basically not starting over. But trying to do things differently. Okay. 
What's coming in for Scorpios? Four of Cups. That Cancer energy there. I think you're trying to like dial it back a little bit. Trying not to be over, overly emotional. Just trying to be like even keel, you know. Not trying to get angry even for some of you. Because I think that your emotions have been all out of whack before or you've let people like really phase you. I think that's that's what you don't want. And you're trying to change that up. Whether this is a new relationship you're going into or if you guys are still with this person. You're trying to change some shit up here. That cancer energy. How is Scorpio viewing this situation? Three of Cups. You just want to have a good time. Let's have fun. Um, I think that you guys are falling for somebody. Falling for them over again even. You're dating. Having a good time. Going to listen to music. Going for coffee. Going for breakfast. And I see you guys kind of daydreaming about this person. And just kind of thinking about, um, you know, spending time with them. What is the influence here? This is also cancer energy there. And three and four is seven. So just be mindful to not get lost in the daydream, in the clouds, and think about the reality of this situation here. Okay? Please enjoy yourself. Please enjoy yourself. But, um, you know, just know when your, your spirit is trying to tell you something. Listen to your intuition and follow it. What is the influence here for Scorpios? King of Swords. Hmm. This is uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy here with the King of Swords. I feel like there's somebody that you guys are very attracted to. And this person is not someone that is very emotional. Very masculine energy. Very friendly though is the thing. They're, they may not be touchy-feely, but you guys can have great conversation together is what I'm getting here. Great conversation together. You like this person. Hmm, you're falling. You may be falling back in love as well. Hopes or fears for Scorpio. King of Wands, that this person will make a move. I feel like you want this person to make a move because thus far it's just been like great conversations, um, dinner dates, lunch dates, breakfast dates, coffee dates. I mean, that kind of shit. It's like, can you touch me already? <laughs> I mean, I'm just being real with you. Um, Leo Aries energy, I feel. Can you just touch me already? Can you do something? Can you make a move? Can you let me know that you like me like I like you? Overall outcome here for Scorpios. Four of Pentacles. Now we have two fours here. That's very stable energy. I feel like um, this is Capricorn energy if I didn't say that. But this energy is somebody holding back. I feel like this person... I don't know. It's something about them. This person's been hurt before. So I think that's why they're really not opening up fully to you. It's because they've been hurt before. They do have... Um, I feel like they want to explore things with you further. But, you know, something's keeping them like in this safe state. You know... When you've been hurt, that's a lot of times uh, what ends up happening is people try to stay in this little safe place because anything outside of that leaves them vulnerable. And so, and that's what I'm getting from this person. They are here for you, but uh, they've definitely been hurt before. So you may have to be a little more patient with them. 
okay so that is what i have for you guys and i'll be speaking with you soon namaste